Vocalist Staff Sergeant Christian Teague and Staff Sergeant Kelvin Ying from the U.S. Army Field Band perform Precious Lord, Take My Hand at this year's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. birthday observance. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. More from Club Mead in a moment. But first, this is the time of year many of us make New Year's resolutions, many of them focusing on fitness and health. So this week we have several health-related stories on the first Mead Week of 2023. We start with the announcement that a new electronic health record system, MHS Genesis, will be implemented at Fort Meade in March. Fort Meade medic and Kimbrough commander Colonel James Maker briefed the community at the January town hall. But before we get to Colonel Maker, here's a brief video on what MH Genesis is. MHS Genesis is the next generation electronic health record launching across the Department of Defense. When deployment is complete, it'll provide you a single record of care throughout your military service, from boot camp through separation. The EHR integrates inpatient, outpatient, and dental records. It improves communication, not only with the military hospitals and clinics, but also with the VA and civilian providers. You'll benefit from an interface that allows seamless, secure messaging with providers, and access to your medical records through a new patient portal. MHS Genesis will be a historic transformation in the delivery of healthcare across the military health system. MHS Genesis is scheduled to be implemented in March. Colonel Maker talked about what that will look like at Fort Meade. By 25 March, we will have transitioned all of our digital systems and our electronic health records to MHS Genesis. So why is that important to the community? We're already starting the first phase of our face-to-face -face training for our providers, our technicians, for our staff to make sure that this is as seamless a process as possible. So you will see a slight decrement in terms of access to care now, but what we're really concerned about and what we've seen when we've transitioned previously in other parts of the continental United States for other MTFs is that we have a significant slowdown potentially in healthcare for the first couple of weeks after the quote unquote go live day or when we actually start this process. So the first couple of weeks before and then the next couple of weeks after until all of the systems and all of the processes are worked out. In a closely related story, national capital region pharmacies are now requiring use of electronic or e-prescriptions. Because of the arrival of MHS Genesis in March, Colonel Maker advises us not to wait until then to register for the e-prescriptions. We don't want to wait until the second week in March to go through the process and get some of those routine and chronic medications. We'd ask that you go in, make sure that your chronic medications are filled out and that uh, we're, we try to minimize as much as possible any waits specifically with pharmacy and with lab. If you go to the Kimbrough or Fort Meade Facebook page, you'll find a flyer that you can give to your provider to have your e-prescription sent to Kimbrough. Remember, you must activate your prescription before you arrive at the pharmacy, and when you do, let them know that your prescription was sent electronically. We'll have more on MHS Genesis as March gets closer. Meanwhile, if you made some New Year's resolutions, the Army Wellness Center has a full slate of classes that can help you reach your goals. Classes include total nutrition, stress management, upping your metabolism, and more. Classes are virtual. Call the Wellness Center at 301-677-2006 to schedule. And turning to the Army Substance Abuse Program, ASAP is offering a training webinar series every first Tuesday of the month. The webinars focus on substance abuse and suicide prevention and the Employee Assistance Program. The webinars are hosted on Microsoft Teams. Contact ASAP at 301-677-ASAP for the webinar links and for more information. Elsewhere, appropriately enough for our health-themed show, the guest speaker at this year's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. birthday observance was the Fort Meade Medical Command's Command Sergeant Major, Deshara Champ. Her remarks focused on the importance of education in realizing Dr. King's dream. You've got to fully understand the value of your education. See, the Reverend Doctor, as my grandmother used to say, has taught us sound practices and principles and he has left us a legacy and I ask you are you living the legacy as part of the proclamation living up to his legacy and what Dr. King believed our nation could become requires more than just reflection it requires action so saying that take action towards your education and that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.